<laughs> oh, you don't sound Sorry, good. I, uh, yeah, I think that I might have the Christmas flu. Christmas flu? Oh, yeah, there was a Christmas cold going around, but it got worse, so... Yeah. yeah, 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 the one that's wiping out humanity on Santa's spirit map that will steal all of the Christmas spirit and kill everyone. Yeah, the CDC did say that that was pretty bad. Yeah. The side effects from this one are pretty intense. Anyway, we watched the Christmas pandemic movie. Thanks, Blinks! <laughs> Why are you blaming me mother? for this? <laughs> you suggested it. I, oh, I didn't. It. You, did. you said you said hold up you said santa buddies or santa paws to the wait what's this one called again what's the rest of it uh the santa pups the santa is it wait is it really the santa paws to the santa pups yes but that's fucking stupid and anyway well okay but also you suggested those two i mean i picked out of the two but <laughs> Welcome to Rough Cuts, anyways. <laughs> Dogs. They're coming. They're coming your way. They'll be here soon. It's happening right now! You have three beautiful daughters and a son. I'm a father! <laughs> We've learned everything about Christmas. So, uh... I'm Ilion. This is my co-host, Boyks. Uh, Hello. Hello. We... All right. So, we decided, we looked at Santa Buddies, or Santa Paws 2, the Santa Pups. Sorry, I'm going to forget that every time. It is incredibly forgettable. We had the choice yeah. between those, and Santa Buddies is the original... And then there's Santa Paws as a prequel spin-off of Santa Buddies. Santa Buddies being a spin-off of mm -hmm. the Air Buddiverse. Um, and then Santa Paws 2, obviously, is the sequel to the prequel of the spin-off of Santa Buddies, the spin-off of Air Bud. And I figured if we're going to watch one of these, we have to watch the one that's the furthest away and has the least amount of context. The, the spin-off of a spin-off? Because Santa it's Paws, of it. <laughs> yeah, the first Santa Paws is a sequel to Santa Buddies: The Search for Santa Paws. Yes. So then that's where they came up with Santa Paws, and then Santa Paws Two, the Santa Pups, is where they introduce the buddies of the Santa Paws universe, which are different than the buddies of the Air Bud universe. So that's why they needed a new, new sequel. And I'm assuming mm -hmm. they're all fucking musicals. <laughs> I, they have to be because I don't. Why is the first Santa Paw? It has to be a musical. Why did they make the second one a musical? Do you think that the first Santa Paws gets into Santa's Christmas spirit map? No. <laughs> it, it might get into the crystal, though. <laughs> the, the magic crystal? Everybody, it might was talk into about a lot of, everybody was into a lot of crystal for this movie. They must have been. Yeah. They, they just... talk about scoring Crystal the whole time. All these cute little puppies like, oh man, we need to score our own Crystal. I guess, Which is, I'm I guess. pretty sure that's a direct quote. I'm like 95% certain. I, I need to preface this episode with that whatever we say from this point on, you are not going to believe anyway. It's entirely the truth, yes. But it's all the truth, but you're not going to believe a single fucking word that we said. You're going to think that we made everything up and that this is all just a big joke. Because there's no possible way that this happens the way it happens. Do you know what's really bothering me about that? So, okay. And yeah. normally, those are words that precede greatness. Because yes. that means that something went absolutely off the rails stupid and was really fun to watch, even if it was bad. Uh-huh. I want to preface this by this thing still fucking sucks. <laughs> it was well, not yeah, this enjoyable. Movie sucks. This was not uh, fun. This was not enjoyable. This was still garbage. It was wild, but it was mm -hmm. not enjoyable for being wild. I think, like the Spooky Buddies episode, that episode was good. That movie's good if you cut out all the dog shit. It's it's just a good Are Halloween movie. Are you suggesting movie. that this movie this... would be good if you cut out the dogs? No, I don't think it's okay. actually the dogs that are the That's problem. Why. I think it's yes. the musicals. <laughs> no, if you I cut think out it's all everything. the musical numbers and then change the ending, this movie's perfect. 
<laughs> we'll get into the plot and we'll let you decide if Voights is okay. correct on this. Okay. Not that it's a good written story, but that it's like fucking buck wild. Yeah, no, it's stupid. This whole thing is... Yeah. It's, uh... Who boy. Uh, well, how do we start? Okay, so mom's dead. Christmas, well, Christmas mom's dead. Uh, it does go into that, like, right away. Not right after really. The opening, after the opening musical number. Yeah, because there's an opening musical about how it's coming. Christmas is coming. Holy shit, oh, it's no, a threat. Oh, no, coming. Oh, the God, Christmas coming. is coming. Yeah, it's a threat. <laughs> it's not. a song that's a threat about Christmas is coming. You need to prepare yourself. Get the canned food. Get the breads and bread You better and watch out. You better watch out. You better, you better watch, watch out. out. You, you better, better watch out. out. Yeah, that's the opening song. And then yeah, we, we open up to the the Santa Paws puppies being born. And being named. Yes. In Santa's workshop. Well, yeah, you have to have the puppies born after Christmas comes. It doesn't happen before that. Listen here, so fucker. Bad, yeah. <laughs> Listen here, fucko. <laughs> Can't say that. Uh, that, that's okay. how that's how the world works, boy. Because I'm just I'm here to. Do I need to explain right. some things? But then there's like ten minutes of just boring bullshit of these puppies just running around the workshop being introduced with their names and their characterizations that are completely irrelevant and also not used at all in the entire film. Yeah, no. There's Jingle, Hope, Charity, and Noble, who are our new buddies. One of which we thought was wearing a yarmulke the whole time, but actually is just a very tiny build backwards cap. It's a backwards cap, but with a bill that's like a third of the size that it should be, so it's almost impossible to see in any shot. And so we're like, wait, yeah. is this... Are they going to like make a bad joke about this one dog not caring about Christmas I, because it's Are they going to have a single like... Jewish dog? Like <laughs> I just, it was Santa, really Santa Paul's weird. Jewish son? Or daughter or whatever it is. Yeah, like... Yeah, the estranged pup from... The they should have, though. Family. They should have. Yeah. I they mean, absolutely wouldn't have handled it well. At this but... point, honestly. Yeah, no, no. God, no. no, no. But it's important because they're talking about uh, the magic of Christmas. And Santa's head elf is telling the Santa pups that with great power comes great responsibility before he dies from a mugger shooting him in the... <laughs> this is... Weirdly enough, this came about two years after Marvel acquired was acquired by Disney. No idea. Totally unrelated, it's, I'm sure. It's word for word. <laughs> it's word for word. The quote. What were they doing? <laughs> with, with great power comes great ability to acquire what every copyright you need to have whatever dialogue you want what? in your movies. Fuck yeah, we're Disney bitches! <laughs> What's confusing about that is doesn't Sony own the rights to Spider-Man? Like, in I don't think form. they got those. In movie, yeah, but in this is a form, movie though. form. It's Santa well, Claus but, a movie. Yeah, but I think that that would be, they'd be able to say that they own the Spider-Man comic and the, like, the sayings mm -hmm. from there. So Fuck, the reason, what a fucked up, what a <laughs> fucked up world we live in. The, the reason it's important that with great power comes great responsibility is because everybody on the North Pole who has the knowledge of Christmas magic and wields the power of Christmas does mm -hmm. so with magic crystals, Christmas crystals, that come from the magical Christmas icicle in a, in a cave of magic. Yes. And yes. they use that and they wield this ungodly power over the world and the universe to spread Christmas cheer and grant wishes or something. Yeah. So I just, I love the way that they explain this because it just keeps getting wilder and wilder. So he's like, all right, they're yeah. in a classroom and he's like, listen up. Like you need to learn how the crystals are used. And they're like, wait, the crystals. And he's like, yeah, they do Christmas magic. And they go, Oh, oh, okay, so that's where the Christmas magic comes from. He's like, well, not quite. See, actually, it's a very complicated process where the magic is distilled by the magic Christmas crystal, uh, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> icicle. And they're like, oh, oh, okay. So he, like, warps them there, shows yeah. them a big magic Christmas icicle. And he's like, and see, and that's how it trickles into our Christmas crystal. And they're like, 
Well, but where does the magic come from that? Oh, good question, class. You see, Christmas magic is distilled <laughs> through Santa's <laughs> spirit map. And you're like, what the <laughs> what fuck lore is this? It's just like this massive, like, three-minute lore the, dump. What the fuck is a spirit map? So then it goes to a map on the wall, <laughs> which has hot spots of different towns and cities and areas where various Christmas magic comes from. Um, now, where was I? The magic crystals are used to spread the joy what it's of Christmas. Talking about. Yes, Noble. But what makes the crystals magic to begin with? Wait, why are there magic Noble, crystals? That's a very good question. Wait, I haven't been and paying attention to, spread to Christmas. <laughs> to spread Christmas. Right, the right Christmas crystals? Yeah, correct. What? Right here, pups, is the heart yes. of all Christmas magic. We use the energy yes. in the great Christmas icicle to make Christmas happen. <laughs> Things like what? powering the workshop yes. or building toys or... I love yes. <laughs> Flying the sleigh. Oh, yes. I love sleigh rides, especially when we hit turbulence. Yeah, what is this and fucking course, hat? We use God, the energy in the Christmas know. icicle to power our magic crystals. What? Yes. <laughs> Do you not know about Santa Claus, boys? Come on. I don't understand. It must be the great Christmas icicle. Did your parents never tell you about Santa Claus and the great Christmas icicle exactly and his magic crystals? All I learned about was the birds and the bees. What the fuck is this? We're going to ask again about getting our own Christmas. How could I get my own magic crystal to ruin the world? For evil. Well, Knoble, that's where the spirit magic comes in. The what? Sorry, what? So this, young students uh, we have the spirit map. I'm sorry, movie. Excuse me. <laughs> what? We're here to show the Please slow the fuck the down. Christmas icicle and our magic crystals comes from. Oh, it's time to learn about the spirit map. This is a lot. Is it? Is it, Santa? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> this is a fucking lot. All at once. Oh my god. Sure is. We can even identify where Christmas spirit is highest. Yeah, where Santa can, like, put out his uh, spirit map and then find the ghosts. Like, he can search for them. What? Like, it's, right? Like, it feels like a spirit board, but it's it's this giant magical map, like you were saying. Yeah. And it tracks... It, well... It, 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 it tracks infections of Christmas spirit, basically. Not basically, because... Literally. They, yeah, like, they, they specify, too, right? Don't they actually yeah. say... Christmas spirit is contagious? Yes, it, it's literally a disease in this country, yeah. in this universe. Like they, they then they harness the power of this crippling <laughs> condition yes. to perform their dark magics at the North Pole, I guess. That's accurate though. <laughs> like, like yes. Yes, they, they summon the they summon Christmas demons using the magic Yes, the disease that they spread. They spread a disease throughout the world like, to use a, as a parasite to suck off our Christmas magic. You so can't say can suck off Christmas for... magic on this podcast, <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> hey, listen, if Christmas is going to come, then you have to have the spirit magic get sucked but, up by like, Santa. Otherwise, how is Christmas going to come, boys? I, I feel like Santa's workshop is Umbrella Corporation. I feel like for, you're not answering for me Christmas. for Christmas. I'm not answering that. Fuck <laughs> off. Right? Okay, so, whatever. Who gives a shit? Christmas magic is spread through an icicle of crystals that's collected through a spirit map on the wall. Whatever. By the way, the crystal so good. Uh, can also uh, feel the pain of the citizens of the world when they lose out on Christmas magic. So it's actually really similar to the Mushroom Kingdom King in Super Mario Brothers, the movie. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, very similar. Yeah, it's it, fungus, it has yeah. like the gross fungus head that pops out. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I... but okay. So all that's whatever. Anyways, the plot at this point, now that we've learned about Christmas magic and how it's spread using Christmas crystals, uh, is is that Santa's ambassador in Pineville, USA, was assassinated. Correct. Yes, he was taken the. Fuck out. Fucking assassinated. Which means that they need to replace the ambassador. So this raises a lot of questions 
about the diplomatic relations of the North Pole <laughs> that they have ambassadors <laughs> that go around the world spreading their disease of Christmas magic. Yeah, yes. Yeah, they they have a specific <laughs> like program where they infect yeah. somebody and then send them out into the populace so that they can infect further people. Yeah, 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 yeah. as you do. Why would the North Pole need an ambassador? Like, are, are nations sending ambassadors to the North parasites? Pole? No, 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 like, no. This is an undercover op. That's why they got <laughs> taken out. The CIA oh, took okay, out Santa. Okay. You don't understand. They were protecting American interests when they removed Santa's so, ambassador. So we don't have an embassy on the North Pole to talk about, you know, Santa relations. No, I can't imagine. No, 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 no. Okay. Santa is much more of an evil genius type than a... Uh, actual nation state unto himself right. anyway uh mrs claus goes well santa you can't go on a secret undercover mission because you're santa why don't i do it i can and she loads she uh goes downstairs into the christmas armory and starts loading mm -hmm. up on uh like all the devices that she's going to need to perform this you know she's like getting herself her silenced pistols and all that from this is uh, it's like hellboy LQ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like El well, El like yeah. I said, Elf Q basically helps her out here and tells her all the things yeah. that she'll need. And then, uh, off Gives she goes her on her secret a, undercover a mission. A crystal gun, uh, mm -hmm. you know, a, a vaccine against Christmas magic, uh, anti-Christmas magic, I should say. Uh, you know, all the important things. A bomb. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah. then she has to go on the undercover mission to find a new Christmas ambassador who hopefully will not be killed this time. And the puppies decide randomly, they, the writers of this movie go, whoa, 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 wait, but this sounds like we have, like, no reason for the dogs to exist in this movie. Wait, fuck, what do we do? Um, the, the puppies want to steal that crystal. They want to score crystals, so yes. they're going to... Stow away they, on the undercover mission, I guess? Because, because they want to yeah. huff Christmas magic. Yes. They need yes. as much Christmas magic in their crystal as they can get. Yes. So the, the purity so they... of Christmas magic in their crystal has to stay very high. <laughs> I need to again point out, this is not exaggerated. <laughs> so mm. so they, they get on to Mrs. Claus' uh, sleigh just Santa's sleigh, that I want to point out at this point, when it's flying away from the North Pole, they actually reused footage, I think, from the first movie, because it's Santa on the sleigh instead of Mrs. Claus. They didn't change yeah. the, the model they used. Yeah. Which is funny. But, so she flies to Pineville, USA, which is, like, in the middle of Montana, I think, based on the spirit map. I... <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Yeah, they do yeah. show it on the spirit map, don't they? Yeah. yeah. And they land next to a, a junior hockey team that's practicing. And they go, this doesn't look at all like elf hockey. I guess. This elf hockey, I don't know. I guess. Do you think they have full contact in elf hockey? They have to, right? Only the full... Like... It's a death sport on the North <laughs> It's a death sport. <laughs> well, they have magic crystals. They can wish them back. They, like... they can do whatever they want, yeah. Yeah. No, you gotta uh, keep... Then... Listen, elves are... You don't want to talk about elves. You don't want to look at elves. You don't want to see... They're nasty. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep them entertained somehow or they're gonna go wild. So, you know, you gotta keep that yeah. bloodlust down. So she parks the sleigh in an empty barn next to the Junior Hockey League's practice rink. Mm-hmm. And the Santa Paws pups get out. And are watching the hockey game and people skating in the ice. And there's a girl that can't skate. Yes. She's never skated before. So they use their magic crystal to grant a wish that she could skate. And now she's an Olympic skater. Which adds a whole lot of morality questions to this fucking Christmas magic crystal. <laughs> oh boy, we're only starting on that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so... They start granting wishes all around the town, just wherever they feel like it, because they stole... Uh, they also stole the crystal from the head Santa dog, which is a yeah. Jack Russell Terrier voiced by Richard Kind, who I don't quite get, because like they have parent dogs for these puppies, and Correct. the Jack Russell is not it. Like, they're, like, big white... Like, they're, like, Malamutes or something? Something well, like that? Those like voice actors were only on set for a day. 
Yeah, they yes. want to pay them for more, right? So Richard Kind is cheaper. God, that's depressing. Because <laughs> I like Richard Kind's actually okay, but yeah, Oof. though you know, Oof. Oof. But yeah, so he uh, teaches them about it, or whatever, and then they steal his crystal. They're they're going around granting wishes, and yeah, they go around granting wishes. Um, well, before that, though, we're actually introduced to a, a song because they do break out into song quite a few times. In this I fucking mean, movie. Okay, I, did. But, I was hoping that we would just forget no, about the music. No, this one's important because while they're singing the song, we're introduced to the Bright Sisters, which are three. Uh, also, where Mrs. Claus. Oh no, she doesn't meet them just yet, does she? Is not yet. Right? Yeah. Okay. But she, she's introduced to them as they're singing, and they're all singing in unison together, and they all look like characters from Chicago, Absolutely. The, the musical. Uh, and then we're also introduced to the sheriff, who is using the power of Christmas magic to fluff the pillow in his jail cell. Oh god, right, this is that music. Okay, we did need to talk about this one. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a montage going around town of everybody spreading Christmas magic. And it yes. goes to the jail. <laughs> Go ahead. Because the, the whole town is infected with Christmas magic. It's a yes, it's everybody disgusting. Has lots of Christmas spirit so, it's just oozing out. So like them. people are like baking cookies and singing and putting up decorations and being very excited about their jail cell where they're gonna throw people in Christmas spirit. Yeah, you know, with their camera in it. Because With their camera pointed at the cell for gross <laughs> fucking did. things that I can only imagine why, that sheriff is they, doing. Why did they have all that? Why I did don't they, know. Why did they do their Christmas cheer montage with the prison? With what is prison fun? Is Christmas? Yep. Christmas is all about prison. Remember, children. And, and if you get point, on the naughty list, Santa's gonna fuck you up. Yeah. So at this point, <laughs> Santa's there's... gonna make a shank. <laughs> Santa makes a lot of shanks, let's be fair. <laughs> yeah, so, true, true. they're... Uh, you gotta have it they, for elf hockey. At this point, uh, Mrs. Claus hears on the radio, Xmas Radio, 89.5, I think is what it was. Uh, uh, the yeah. kids talking about how their mom is very good, which is yeah, a yeah, Christmas, Christmas tradition. Spirit, dead mom. Christmas spirit, dead mom. Yeah, but like it's a, it's apparently a yearly Christmas tradition that these children sing about their... Dead, dead mom. mom every christmas on radio to depress the <laughs> whole town which makes her father have a single tear roll down his cheek when she yes. finishes the program and, with a song and mrs claus hears the song and is like oh that's the most pure singing voice of christmas cheer i've ever heard the way that her mom nothing, died in a horrible yeah, no, accident no, I was going to say, nothing makes Christmas cheer have that certain savor to it so much as a dead mother. <laughs> like, right. Right. Whoa. Oh, okay. whoa. Hold on, movie. Hold on, movie. <laughs> right. And so so she goes to the radio station uh, to go talk to this kid that's singing on the, the radio, where she can just walk into the radio station and the booth with yeah. nothing in between. Uh, I also want to point out that this this radio station has absolutely no sound canceling, which I think is really Ooh, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing in this radio station to say that they actually like, do radio. Record anything here, no. No. Yeah. Uh, and then the dad mistakes her for somebody looking for uh, the position that he filed, apparently, about a nanny position to have somebody help him out because his wife is dead. Dead. <laughs> extremely dead cold and in the ground did you know that she's dead she's super fucking dead did you know that hey, wow kids, happy christmas mom's dead and uh yeah yeah so then he he keeps talking over her and he just will not let her get a word in edgewise and he's like well, where's your resume i don't know guess we can just cancel anyway she's like uh uh and he just keeps cutting her off and will absolutely not listen to her in any way whatsoever. Dude's a total prick. Mm -hmm. And she's finally like, yeah, all right, you know what? Fuck it. This, I guess, is the best way for me to get in. Sure, whatever. I guess I'm your nanny now? Whatever. I guess. Yeah, so she she agrees to become the nanny, and at the same time, the Santa pups, Santa pop-ups, mm -hmm. 
uh, are wandering around town, and there's a little girl who's missing two front teeth. So one of the dogs is like, oh, I know. I'll wish for her to have two front teeth. And then teeth just grow. They slowly. Rip from her flesh in a burst of Rip from her flesh and just just appear in her mouth. And then the next Santa Paw is like, I wish she had four rows of teeth. I wish she had teeth. 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 (laughs) I... Yeah. Yeah, and it, it's and real really gross. creepy that they did that. You it's know. fucking gross. I don't know what they were thinking. Ugh. I don't know. Ugh. I, I mean, I get that all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth song, but also, like, that's a bad yeah. reference for it and a really gross way to actually do it. It's yeah. a little bit of body horror for no reason. Kind of gross. And then and- as the pups are, are wandering around some more... They find the son of the lawyer who is also the radio DJ of Christmas Radio, who is the father of the child that is being nannied by Mrs. Santa Claus. That's being nannied because she's the Christmas ambassador, because she has the most Christmas spirit. Yeah, because she wants to make her the the ambassador for the diplomatic relations of the North Pole to Pineville, USA, which is the town with the most Christmas cheer in America, Mm -hmm, in the mm -hmm, world mm -hmm. at large. Yeah. And and this kid yes. fucking hates Christmas because his mom his mom's is dead. dead. <laughs> and she died on Christmas. So and, and he yeah. goes, you know what? I fucking hate Christmas so much. I wish Christmas didn't exist. And the puppies go the, the monkey puppy paw goes, curls. Like, yeah. Well, the one the one puppy like floats in the air yeah. and its eyes start to glow red and it goes, <laughs> It is done. And the other puppies are like, No! No! No, get down! Get down, Noble! <laughs> no, Noble, if we lose Christmas cheer, we'll die. <laughs> That's the only thing sustaining our lifeblood. But yes, yeah, so he wishes he, made he makes wish. the nastiest Christmas wish, and then now like Tony Stark, I don't feel good. <laughs> Ash particles yeah. fly he... out over all the Christmas stuff and erase it from history, and he yes, spreads cause, cause the he dark got in... Christmas flu. He got infected with the Christmas cold, which then eventually grows into a Christmas flu in strength as it mutates in his body. And yes. and it's spread through touch and through inhalation. It's airborne. It's it, an it is airborne extreme, Christmas it's flu. It's extremely virulent and it's airborne. We've all seen the effects of the Christmas cold. This is more like a Christmas flu. The Christmas Wait. Christmas spirit multiplier effect is, is working This is actually a pandemic movie. Oh my god. Is spreading out of Pineville. It is. Out of the uh, if we don't do something, it fixes. They're using the Star Wars alarm. Oh my god! Christmas pandemic, the likes of which we've never seen. Christmas alarm is disappearing forever. Get to Pineville as fast as you can. Find Mrs. Oh no! We've got to get to the bottom of this. We're on it, sir. We'll take care of it. Come on, Eddie. Oh, we fucked up. Boys, we fucked up. And when you think that we're kidding, I I just want to say that Mrs. Claus has a direct quote of saying, it's a Christmas pandemic, as they yes. show red spots start spreading all over Santa's Christmas map. And yeah, his spirit thankfully, map. Thankfully, yeah. Uh, yeah, thankfully, Madagascar closed their ports, so there is some vestiges well, of yeah, humanity there's... left, but... I can't believe Madagascar saw somebody coughing in Montana and closed their ports again. This shit sucks. Immediately. Every it's such time. such bullshit. Every goddamn time that I think I'm going to beat that game. They're too powerful. <laughs> it's just, too powerful. But she does. She's Christmas pandemic. They literally uh, use the yeah, term. We, we accidentally watched uh, a Christmas pandemic movie for the year of our Lord, 2021. What the fuck? <laughs> Why did we accidentally hit this? Of all things. Yeah, so he infects his child friend by coughing on him. 
which mm-hmm. causes his friend to lose all the Christmas spirit and leave the toy box, or actually it's a wagon of toys. Yes. And he's like, hey, I can't pull this whole wagon by myself. I don't know, just fucking steal them. Who gives a shit? They're just orphans. Why do they need it's presents? They're orphans, yeah. Why do they need presents? This part, I I really, really, really hated this. I hate this message <laughs> so much. In that the minute that somebody loses quote unquote Christmas spirit, it's not like they stop believing in Christmas. It's that they become yeah. absolute moral, like immoral monsters. They like kill and pillage and steal. Correct. Like, like I'm going to, uh, I don't believe in Christmas anymore. That means that I have no problem with beating up and stealing toys from orphans. What? Fuck you. Like there are people that don't celebrate Christmas and they're not all evil monsters you awful everybody bastards. knows that the moment Ugh. you stop believing in Christmas you just murder someone if you don't believe in Santa what's to stop you from killing yeah what's the, the only reason I need why rules. anybody stops yeah the only reason why I haven't killed anybody is because Santa might put me on his naughty if, if list Santa puts if me Santa on Santa doesn't naughty exist list, I'll just kill yeah, everybody I'll just fucking kill everyone yeah anyone so, that I see yeah why not I'll just mug yeah. them <sighs> take all their money who cares it, he yeah, can't what are they gonna on do? the naughty list what, 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 yeah, what are they gonna do no consequences You've heard of Elf on a Shelf now. (laughs) Oh, man. Uh, Anyways, so the uh, Pound, the... What is he? Like the the dog catcher? catcher. Yep. I guess. uh, Gets infected uh, by inhaling the Christmas cold Mm -hmm. from our our patient zero. (laughs) Yes. I fucking hate this It's movie. a super spreader <laughs> event. Like, there's a super spreader event immediately. Like, like, they have to do contact tracing to figure out who spread the Christmas cold. This is fucking wild. So, yeah. but he gets infected, and he decides We had to... proper quarantine procedures. This, this has never happened. Yeah, he decides to steal the crystal from the Santa Paw Pups and throw a tiny net on them so he can take yes. them to the pound and throw them in a cage to rot to forever till they die. Yeah. And he's got a really cute schnauzer with, uh, like, it's a schnauzer cross with uh, two different eyes. Which... Yeah, Baxter. Baxter's cute. Baxter is really, really cute. I yeah. like Baxter as a dog. Um, and Dax is like, oh, I don't get it. He's normally not this nasty when he steals dogs off the street to kill them in his pound. It's right? so mean. He does it with Christmas cheer. Normally, he's, he does it so cheerfully. And now he's doing it sadly. Now he's getting no Aww. joy from this act. <laughs> Normally, it gives him so much joy. I don't understand. <laughs> Fuck, this movie is so good. All right, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I just... So as the kid is going home, he infects the mare with the yep. T-virus. Well, it's the yes. C-virus, really. It's the Christmas the virus. Christmas, yeah. Uh, and then he also infects his dad when he gets home. And his mm-hmm. dad suddenly loses all interest in decorating the Christmas tree that night. Oh! <gasps> Oh they have God. to do it later. Oh, <gasps> dun dun dun! Yeah, he does like super yeah. normal dad stuff where she's like, "Oh, well, Dad, like we were gonna decorate the tree tonight," and he's like, "Well, I mean, it's really late. We'll just do it tomorrow. It's just the tree." And everybody in the movie's like, <gasps> "How dare and, you? How dare and, you? And, who, who cares?" I love that the it goes so one yeah. person okay so we have our first three cases our first case goes I am going to uh, rob orphans mm-hmm. the second one is oh, I'm gonna get off on stealing from these dogs and then murdering them yeah and then the third one is and all of these are equivalent I don't think I'm gonna decorate the tree tonight we'll do it tomorrow yeah. Yeah, yeah, the three biggest crimes that you can do. Yeah. This is yeah. like... It's just... So, uh... then there's another musical about Mrs. Claus and the soon-to-be ambassador of the North Pole child. Mm-hmm. Uh, just singing and doing magic in her room. And as she's leaving, the kid is like, hey... You're not really a nanny, are you? And maliciously, Mrs. Claus goes, Oh no, I'm much worse. 
<laughs> and then closes the door and leaves. <laughs> I am here to spread Christmas cheer. You don't understand. Oh, I'm ugh. here to recruit you. <laughs> You're not a nanny, are you? No. No, dear. I'm not. I'm a mass murderer. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm like, what? That doesn't, um, that was creepy. Okay, the movie's making that seem cool and cheeky, but, uh, in real life, that's creepy and scary. And in the morning, they're having breakfast, and the little girl's like, Look, Dad, we decorated the Christmas tree last night. And he looks over, he's like, oh. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And everybody goes, oh, and that's, oh, how dare you? Oh my god. Oh my god. He, he sounds like he has a Christmas cold. Dun, dun, dun. He's just being, I don't, he's busy. I don't, it's, what's the big deal? It's super normal. It's like the what? most normal conversation of all time. As we were saying too, so then he, he also decides that he's no longer hosting the Christmas show that yeah. is about celebrating the death of his dead wife. Yeah, this is like, a really weird died local on his tradition. Christmas, right? like, right. and as I was saying at this time, I was like, oh, "Okay, so he's moved on as part of the natural grieving process and no longer has to do like this weird fetishization of his own wife's death." Oh, this is bad. This is bad. No, bad? that's bad. Actually, no, that's oh, bad. Oh. Hmm. You, you need oh, to okay. dwell on it as long as possible and spread the depression of your dead wife to the town every Christmas. It's a tradition. You need to cling, yeah, you need to cling to it. Force your children, who are very sad about their dead mom. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are too slow. You're too slow. You can't do it. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I saw you try. But, um, yeah, celebrate their dead mom. <laughs> Even... <laughs> God, even though the kid is, the one son is like, I hate celebrating the death of my mother. This sucks. But you need to make sure that they do it every year for the rest of their lives as an honor and tradition to her. And that's healthy and normal. Yeah. Anyway. So the daughter's like, oh my God, this is horrible. I can't, th this doesn't make sense. Dad would never stop torturing us with mom's death. That's, that's against the Christmas spirit. All right, after all of that, uh, we go back to the pound yes. where the dog catcher is telling us that everybody in town just decided to give up their pets because they don't want to deal with them anymore because they lost the Christmas cheer. Uh, so they're just going to send them all to the pound to get euthanized. Yep, which makes you hate and kill dogs. Yeah. Or look at a Christmas tree and go, I don't know, we can decorate that tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Equivalent things. Because of the Christmas flu pandemic. And we, we find out that it's a pandemic because it's spreading from Pineville, USA. As people leave the city, mm -hmm, leave the town, mm -hmm. they're carrying the virus of anti-Christmas with them. Correct. And spreading it to the yes. whole world. Yep. And, and they're contact tracing it back to Pineville using the spirit map. Mm -hmm. And we know that that's causing a lot of problems because they go in and they check the Christmas icicle and mm -hmm. the Christmas icicle is melting because it's getting too warm from global warming because of the lack of Christmas spirit. That's accurate. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, this, yeah. this is just every yeah. fear of our times realized as a kid's holiday movie. <laughs> so the farmer that owns yeah. the barn walks into the barn with the reindeer and is looking at them. He's like, oh, no, I don't own any reindeer. Why are they in my barn? Oh, wow. It is Christmas time. Magical sleigh. Yeah, it is Christmas time. You know, I could probably make some money by selling these reindeer. And <laughs> if I made some steaks and I sausage out of them. chop them up and make some really cool caribou sausage. Holy shit. Could make even more. Hmm. And, and then <laughs> Mrs. Claus comes back as he's deciding what to do and getting his shotgun. <laughs> Yep. And she's like, oh, oh, sorry, these are my reindeer. I just, I thought I could park them here in your barn. I uh, thought I could is, break and enter into your yeah, property is, and keep my is stuff that here. Is that okay? Or, I called the sheriff already. He's, he's right here, actually. Oh, yeah, that's breaking and entering, lady. Can't do that without the express permission of the property owner. Gonna have to, gonna have to take you in. Gonna have to arrest you. You're gonna arrest me? A white woman? 
<laughs> she just, she goes full Karen here. It's really bad. <laughs> she goes, I can't believe it. Consequences for my actions? All I did was break in and then leave things here that are mine without asking the property owner. And letting and letting them eat all of like the food and stuff that you have in the barn. Why, yeah. why is that wrong? What's How that, is that what illegal? Are you about? I'm yeah. a woman. I'm white. What is happening? I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> yeah, she was so upset. It's like, but you, you do realize you kind of, you can't do that. <laughs> and and this is accurate. again phrased as being part of the Christmas cold slash Christmas flu, because normally the sheriff would have just let her break and enter. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nobody would have cared if she just steals and breaks in and then, do whatever you want. And I don't know, as they Christmas. throw her in the cold cell with the now unfluffed pillow, because there's no more Christmas magic. God, I can't believe it. I, watching him unfluff that pillow was really, really interesting. I've never seen somebody do it before, but it was a hell of a yeah. thing. But we're reintroduced to the Bright Sisters, the weird clone sisters, the whole... That all talk in unison, yes. All talk in hive mind together. And and they sing us a song about why they're in jail as Mrs. Claus starts stripping. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Know, <laughs> God damn it. I mean, I'm not I wrong. wouldn't have described it that way, but it's also not wrong. Because she really does, like, strip down. <laughs> She sure does. She sure does. <laughs> and the reason they're in jail is because they love giving Christmas cookies to orphans and they ran out. So they <laughs> took a hammer <laughs> and broke the door glass to the bakery and mm-hmm, then walked mm-hmm. in and started shoveling cookies into a bag. And, and the... eating them. They also <laughs> showed them, them eating them themselves. Yes. And as, as the owner came in, he's like, who the fuck is breaking into my store? They're Why like, are you oh, looting my Christmas you, you should just store. let us loot the store. It's for the orphans and you help us out every year. So like, it's okay, right? So then he calls the cops <laughs> and the sheriff arrests <laughs> them. And this Which... is seen as a bad thing. <laughs> I... I... <laughs> There's so much and, wrong and there's, with everything. There's like a line during the song where I'm like, I'm very sure they're going to tell me they stabbed that guy. Yes. It's yeah, going yeah, to yeah. happen. Like, it was This is why we're in jail. Knife. Like, it all of them grab a so knife much and like stab like Chicago him. musical, yeah. It is. Uh, it's, it's like the Who Reached for the Gun song. Who Reached, yes, who reached, yeah. who reached for the Gun, the Gun, the Gun. The gun. <laughs> <laughs> they both... <laughs> <laughs> like one of them shot the baker. It's the only thing that makes sense. Like something. Oh my god, it's so weird that and they're all like, I can't believe that they would throw us in jail for simply breaking and entering and looting yeah. and spreading yeah. our Christmas spirit all over the place. How evil. There truly is a war on Christmas if they won't let us destroy <laughs> if they won't, their shop if they won't and steal let, all their stuff. If they won't let white women break into stores, then what can we do? <laughs> what happened to christmas uh, what happened to christmas i used to be able to break into any store in this town and take what i want i yeah oh, this movie this movie so then one of the santa's head christmas elf uh yeah magically shows up in an ice cream van which has no Which implications for kids. Yeah. No implications for kids at all. The, There's no bad associations nope, there. Nope, um, and nope. he busts them out of prison by, like, pulling down the wall? With a noose. With the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he does yep. show up. They, they sing the musical number, and as, he's do, as they're singing, he shows up and shoves a noose through the window, and I went... With no uh, context. <laughs> with no context yet. <laughs> what? And then he goes, wait, we'll wrap the noose around the iron bars and pull them down. And I'm like, you you didn't need to draw a noose for that. <laughs> like, you could have done no. that with a different knot, guys. No. It didn't have to be a noose. It didn't, it didn't need to be it's, a noose. It's fucked up is what it is. <laughs> it's, there's a lot that is in this movie. As we talk about this movie, I'm liking it more, which is really <laughs> bothering me because I didn't like it when we watched yeah. it. <laughs> 
Uh, what's interesting, so the, the kids are talking to each other, the magical Christmas ambassador singing child, and mm-hmm. uh, her brother who hates Christmas because his mom's dead. Yes, they both love Christmas. Yeah. One because her mom's dead, and the other one because his mom's dead. Correct. One of them ended up reasons. loving Christmas because of it, and one of them ended up hating Christmas so, before. So the girl was talking to him, he's like, uh, but mom said that people are good. And they do nice things for each other. And the boy's like, who cares? Mom's fucking dead. <laughs> I have the darkness inside of me. You don't and, and, understand. And that was when the elf showed up in the truck to take them in to help him with the escape plan. Yes. From the prison. So so they yeah, were distracting the sheriff. Simultaneously. Yeah, they were distracting the sheriff uh, with a... <laughs> By tying him to a radiator with handcuffs. And and then tying him to uh, a radiator with handcuffs, yes. and Comically oversized handcuffs. And at that point, then, uh, Santa's top elf breaks Mrs. Claus and the Bright Sisters out of jail. Mm -hmm. So their plan at this point, after they bust her out of the clink... (laughs) God. I I want to mention really quickly, too, that the elf goes... They're like, who are you, mysterious ice cream van driving maniac? Yeah. And he goes, oh, I'm Santa's head elf. And he takes off his hat and he goes, <gasps> and he's just a, he's a guy. He's just some guy. He's just some just guy. Some guy. <laughs> he's, he's just a guy. Like, there's, yeah. the what, ears are, what in What in tarnation? Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, the the sheriff yells what in yep. But, like, he's very, very slightly weird ears. But, like... Yeah. It's... You have to, like, stare at them really hard to see if there's anything different about them at all. And it's shown off as this big reveal, and it's... What? what? Yeah, it, it's like, uh... Like, you're talking to Tony Hawk, and he takes off his cap. He's like, look who I am! I'm like, huh, you look kind of like Tony Hawk. <laughs> And I guess like that. Look, oh man, you got a little bit of weird ears. Are you kind of like an elf guy or something? Maybe? Yeah, like are you an uh, elf? Or it's something? almost like I you look. The... It's almost like you're wearing like a weird elf costume or something. That's strange. But like, huh. barely. Anyway. Look, like it doesn't really look like it at all. Like there's nothing special about him. He just looks like a guy, mm-hmm. and he keeps on pulling yeah. off his disguise. Like he does it like three different times where he's like, they're like, "Who are you, mysterious man?" And he pulls off his hat to show. His totally normal features and goes, I'm the head elf. And everybody goes, oh, and it, as if it's this big surprise and it's, I don't, yeah, it's just a guy. Anyway, yeah. sorry. I just, it yeah. really bothered me. That part just fucking threw me so much. At this point, Mrs. Claus is coming up with a plan to destroy the Christmas flu and stop it from being a super spreader around the world. Yeah. She needs her so- own competing flu to win. Correct. So she decides to spread the Christmas virus from <laughs> the most infected person in the town, which is the mm-hmm. Christmas ambassador girl, yes. through their radio station, which can transmit a virus through radio waves. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And in order to do this, they need to turn on every radio in town. So she gets the most criminally masterminded people she can think of that are really good at breaking into things. The Bright yep. Sisters. <laughs> Correct. To use their, their powers of white privilege to and break into and every place and turn on the radio. <laughs> in, including, at one point, in uh, her dad's yep. like... So the lawyer dad at one point also says like, Oh, I'm too busy for Christmas. Everybody's suing each other because everybody's so upset because yeah. they no longer have the Christmas spirit. And he's in the courtroom and behind the judge she opens up the panel behind the judge one of the bright sisters and like mm-hmm. leaps out and stabs him in the back and as she's doing that she <laughs> also knife. turns on the radio <laughs> you know the judge radio that they have beside the judge like the one they use for classic rock yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. and they all listen to oh holy night together Mm-hmm. Yeah, because where you can night. very loudly hear "Oh Christ Divine." <laughs> yeah, the the most Jesus song they could think of is what cures the Christmas flu. Mm-hmm. If, if only everybody got an Old Holy Night vaccination, but that's yes. like a J and J vaccination, so you have to make sure you get another one afterwards. Uh, 
<laughs> you can't just yeah. You need a second dose. Yeah. You need to have yeah, it's like not, it's not good enough on its own. You gotta throw in a jingle bells or something. To... <laughs> yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say you gotta have something else there. Yeah, jingle bells maybe. Fuck. Uh, peace on earth, goodwill to men. I don't know something. something. Yeah, it's not. You need but, you need something else. And and before she sings the magical curing song of Jesus, we get a monologue Christmas tradition of the sun telling the whole town about how much his mom is very dead very very dead yeah super dead and that makes the whole town cry and stop all the murder and pillaging and killing and hacking (laughs) and it cheers everyone up everybody everybody gets very happy that this kid's mom is dead and now they're full of christmas spirit again and then if there's and one then thing the... that cheers me up, it's that his kid's mom is absolutely fucking in the ground cold. And and that starts a worm. super spreader event of Christmas cheer mm-hmm, to, mm-hmm. to counteract the super spreader event of anti Christmas cheer. <laughs> Which, by the way, they did a contact tracing to the kid, and the the head elf is there and saying like, "What kind of a fucking idiot would wish to?" To end Christmas. What kind of a more... What stupid, selfish Such ass... bitch. <laughs> in front of the kid. Oh, you. Oh, you. Yeah, oh, okay. you. Good job, kid. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> just because your mom's dead doesn't mean you can just do what you want. You need to be happy that your mom's dead. Please. Yep. So as the whole town gets cheered up by the death of his mom... They and and cured of their Christmas anti Christmas sickness. Uh, then Mrs. Claus gives the girl an ambassador pin and makes her an official ambassador of the North Pole, and sets up her own embassy, which will not be bombed this time. Uh, and yeah, absolutely leaves. will not get you'll not get assassinated. This is a a totally fine position. Don't ask about the last ambassador. Don't worry about it. <laughs> And, it's fine and, and then christmas cheer is spread through the world virally <laughs> once again <laughs> santa's grand plan reaches fruition and they what have the fuck? christmas <laughs> what? so the the message here too is yeah. that if your mom dies on christmas the proper and appropriate way to deal with that is to run a losing money Christmas show that runs 24-7 on the radio mm-hmm. that you all have to constantly perform on every day to honor her memory. Uh, otherwise, you haven't done enough for her? Yes. Yes. Okay. And never move on. Yes, don't, d- definitely don't do that. Oh, and if you don't believe in Jesus and Christmas, then you're a horrible, immoral monster who will kill orphans, steal their toys, chop up reindeer, um, like, arrest white women. <laughs> do all the oh, most Oh, can terrible, you imagine? Do the most terrible imagine? things in our society. You know, all of the equivalent things that happen by not having Christmas spirit. Like suing each other, getting into fight yeah. because they, they start fighting each other, uh, stealing from orphans, or not caring about a Christmas tree as much as you might Yeah, should. yeah, decorating yeah. your Christmas tree the day after you said you would. You fucking mm-hmm. monster. Yeah. Because he didn't believe what in a, Jesus. What a movie. <laughs> what, a, what a fucking film. It, this is a yeah. hell of a movie hell of a movie it felt like hell this thing also oh, you'll notice that we didn't mention a whole lot about the dogs wait they're dogs oh wait, yeah there are dogs oh there are dogs what yeah. at the end of it after they spread a christmas pandemic their words by the way the movie's own words uh-huh. christmas pandemic that almost wiped out humanity apparently <laughs> Um, what yeah. is, what's, what's their punishment? They go, all right, now you've learned you shouldn't use those crystals again. Bad puppies. We're just going to well, take you home. See, they grew as dogs. They went, oh, and, you learned from your mistakes. And they, they learned from their mistakes. So they won't use the ever-present magic wish-granting abilities of Christmas to grow to wipe out humanity. And ever. cause a global pandemic. 
<laughs> yeah. A global pandemic that threatened humanity. Don't do not do that again. <laughs> okay, we've learned and grown. Yay! Yeah. You know who didn't get the Christmas cold? The people that stayed home and that wore masks. <laughs> That's I, fucked up, right? How did you pick this movie? How did we get here? <laughs> Why? Why is this the <clears throat> story? I mean... Ugh, it's... This yeah. also, like, this is this wouldn't have been good at the time, but it aged like milk. It sure did. This was 2012, I want to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was, uh, I mean, may, like, maybe, they obviously maybe did not movie, know what was going to happen, but... Maybe this movie was prophetic. I I hope not. <laughs> Please don't let it be. Do, do we have a spirit map we can look at? <laughs> Fuck. This movie's depressing in so many ways. So let's rate the dog. Um, we have Noble Charity. Oh, look, mm-hmm. I can do this. Okay, we have Noble Charity. You have them written yeah. down, right? You so, have them down. Yeah. Okay. Noble Charity Hope. Uh, and Vaccine Against the Christmas <laughs> Pandemic. I, fuck, I can't no, remember the last no, one. No, it's Jingle. 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 Jingle, you one. fuck. God damn it. I right. feel like Jingle should be named Faith, though, because that's the one that can't sing. <laughs> but but she has faith in herself. Oh, right. They fucked yes. up the name. They fucked up the name. Yeah, because she's like, she sings yeah. awful. That yeah. There's a whole joke. That's her personality is that she wants to sing. And she sings like this. They never use it for anything. So what's the point? No. Yeah. They use it for, well, they use it for the first 30 seconds of the movie when they start. As a, to... as a quote unquote joke. Yeah. Um, Same, all of these dogs, drop it. the Santa Paw Pups, are Great Pyrenees, which are oh, yes, yes. French mountain dogs, by mm-hmm. the way, uh, which implies that Santa Paws is from France. Yeah. yeah that makes Originally, sense. yeah. So, they're all really cute. They're fluffy. Uh, one of them has, like his eye around it the fur around it's been painted black so he has a personality trait which is weird yeah yeah i don't know why they did that well because they gave a, a yarmulke to the one and the other one had like <laughs> it is a yarmulke cool... yeah the one had a the one had yeah. a cool yarmulke the one, yeah. other one had like the the a, collar with the crystal on it so you the could bling differentiate necklace it. collar yeah and then the yeah and then the other one had the black uh eyes so that you know you'd know which ones are which yeah, so you know which one's which. Because otherwise, that, they that's just literally all kind of, the only reason. That's they all look very movies. similar. Otherwise, yeah. The, yeah, they're uh, identical. I think they're cute dogs. They don't really do anything interesting. They do nothing interesting. They're not I... stunt dogs. They got them because they have white fur. Yeah, they got them I because they're big white yeah, dogs. I think that's and about they, it. They're cute. They're cute. Uh, they're I did dogs. learn something interesting about this movie and about the technique they use for oh. the moving dog mouths. Because I found an article about the dog trainer for the Great Pyrenees that they used on this film. And in order to do the animation for the dog Mm -hmm. mouth, they need the dogs to keep their mouth closed the whole movie. For every scene that they're in. So that then they can animate it opening and closing. That's not a thing that dogs do. Oh, I understand it. So, like, the dead-eyed look that the dogs have yeah, at all times it's was trained. on purpose. It's oh, trained. Good. So, the way they do that is by lowering the temperature on the set so that the dogs don't uh... pant. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. Yeah. So, uh... so they lower the temperature... And then they train them to not be distracted oh. by the millions of distractions around them. So oh. that they can stand there dead-eyed, mouth closed for every scene. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's about the level of creepiness. <laughs> yep. So so these dogs were terrifying. I would give them a 12 out of 10. Moving on. Uh, the Jack Russell... <laughs> There's also the Jack Russell Christmas dog. Uh, Eddie. That's, yes. Yeah. Eddie. So uh, in that same article, uh, it's the same trainer. She trained Eddie. Uh, and you can tell that Eddie has never worn little booties before. Because in every scene yes. that Eddie is walking around, he's like, I'm wearing booties. I'm wearing booties. <laughs> Get them off my legs. What are you I doing? I love Eddie. 
I don't want to wear booties, and it's like that weird, like, <laughs> robotic, like, leg up. Oh, get it off. Get it off. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I would say that Eddie was rich and kind. And, yeah. uh, therefore, I would give Eddie a 12 out of 10. Eddie's a very good boy. Jack Russell's Harrier would go great in a Wishbone reboot out of 10. Yes. Yeah, Eddie, uh, there's Eddie's also, a really good dog. Jack Russell's look great. Yeah, there's Baxter, which is the, uh, dual eye-colored... I don't even know what dog this is. Uh, it's a Schnauzer a... mix. It's a Schnauzer. It's a schna- yeah, yeah, it's a Schnauzer mix. It's, um, it's a mud of some kind, but it's, it's mostly Schnauzer. This dog's really cute. I like this dog. I any any dog with yeah, two I eye like colors like that is is adorable. Uh, that's another. I also very really easy like schnauzers, 10, right? Yeah, yeah like... I like I like schnauzers a lot. This dog is really yeah. cute. It's also uh, a dog that throughout the movie, it's like the only one that's not obscenely obnoxious and awful. Yeah, he's like so that dog that. catcher that murders all those other dogs is usually so nice. I don't mm-hmm, understand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My psychopathic owner, I listen, just because I have leather faces and owner doesn't mean that I'm a bad dog. <laughs> yeah. Related, there's also Brutus, which is a bulldog. Oh yeah. Uh, who is also owned by the dog catcher. And Brutus is also like, yeah, he's usually not so mean. And I maybe somehow murdered a postal worker once. Can you put me on the nice list if I help you? This isn't a bribe. It's not a bribe. I didn't say the word bribe. That means it's not a bribe. Bribe and blackmail are for nice boys. And I'm a nice boy. (laughs) I'm a nice boy. Brutus is nice out of (laughs) ten. Brutus's would blackmail you in a heartbeat out of ten. Yes. Uh, The... (laughs) I wanted yeah. to mention, too, throughout this movie, everybody talks very down to everyone else. Mm-hmm. This movie is... I, I forgot about that, just when we mentioned Baxter, because Baxter is really bad for this. This is the one thing that I found obnoxious Correct. about Baxter as a dog. It's just that... So good kids' movies, I find, tend to talk to kids like they're not idiots. <laughs> like they haven't smashed their head into a wall for the last five hours and are, like, suffering from a concussion. And this movie does the opposite. This movie talks down to you so much. Mm-hmm. Like, every scene is somebody going like, Oh, wow. See, look. They lost the Christmas spirit. That's why they acted bad. Do you remember the Christmas spirit, kids? It's that thing that Santa has on his spirit map. Up at the North Pole. And see, it's because of all of the Christmas spirit. And there's the one kid that made the wish that took it all away. Oh, no. Oh, that means that this person lost the Christmas spirit. Mm. And that's why they're bad. And it just, like, that's the dialogue from every character I, in this. And it's great. This movie as hell. is probably made for, like, six year olds. Yeah, but, like, but, good, six, yeah. good movies for six year olds still don't do that shit. Like, they no, don't talk no. down to you. They talk in age appropriate language, but they don't have to sit there and be like, Hey, kids, do you remember that scene that was 10 seconds ago? Oh, boy, it sucks that everybody's lost yeah, the Christmas it, spirit. It like, is it pretty patronizing, that. I feel, yeah. It's really yeah. bad for that kind of uh, thing. And, like, a good mo- like yeah. there are good movies for six-year-olds. Like, there's stuff that we can watch that's for little kids that does make sense and actually works. But, like, this is just... Also, if it's for six-year-olds, then they're not taught... Why are they talking about a pandemic and the dead mom and stealing from orphans? Like, this thing's fucked up, right? Like, that's the thing, is if they're going to talk like, down to you like it's supposed to be for, like, three- yeah. or four-year-olds or something, then also, why is it about the dead mom and a Christmas pandemic? Because it's fucked up. Yeah, I can't believe the Christmas pandemic started from a lab in pine city <laughs> usa yeah where they linked yeah. and they leaked it out it was planned oh my god but okay so i have two counters or two things i've been counting during this movie mm-hmm. um musicals nine. Oh yes there's a fucking, lot fucking nine <laughs> yes yeah uh, it is constant it's a lot of musicals uh pets zero zero fucking yes zero. i also had that counter yep Zero. That's a, that's a big the, egg. The musical to pets ratio is absurd. <laughs> it sucks. They're, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, <laughs> they fucked up bad. It's criminal is what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
There's probably five minutes of dog in this movie. Yeah, I... If, if there was ever a year to watch a Christmas pandemic movie, I guess we picked a good one. I guess. That's where I'm at. I guess. I and guess. That's, uh, that's Santa Paws to the Santa Pups? Yes. Okay, I'm like, I'm, do I have that name right? Yeah. <laughs> Just the, the name yeah. of this movie. But yeah, so that's Santa Paws to the Santa Pups. Enjoy. I hope that you... Uh, like this episode as much as we like doing it. I guess. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> the whole episode's just, I guess. Oh, I don't know. God. There's so much I guess in this. Where it's, what, why did they want to steal from orphans? Because they lost the Christmas spirit. I guess? I guess. Sure. I guess. What? Uh, but uh, I guess, you can always check yeah. us out. Uh, we have... We'll put up some clips and things from the show if we can, some actual visual things, if we find some good visual gags and stuff like that. We do that for all of the movies that we have. We'll put those up on our Twitter, so you can check us out at Rough Cuts Cast. Uh, you can also email us movie suggestions or anything else that you want to send us in. We've actually gotten a couple of pieces of fan art before. Mm. Uh, you can send that to roughcutscast at gmail.com. And thank you all for supporting us. Uh, big shout out to all the people that are, have decided to support us on Patreon. You really help us rent Santa Paws 2, the Santa Pups, a thing that we paid $4 to do in standard definition. Four U.S. dollars. Sure to, did. To, to, to do that this morning. So uh, we appreciate that very much. So you can help us alleviate some of those costs. And uh, as far as episodes in the future right now, we might be a couple of weeks off over Christmas. Uh, we'll For the kind holiday, of decide yeah. about that, and we'll we'll update everybody on uh, the social media stuff as well as to how that works, and if we actually manage to get another one in. But planning right now, we'll probably see you in the new year, in 2022. So thanks, everybody, for supporting us throughout the whole year, and have a wonderful holiday. Yeah. Now, oh, God, thank fuck that episode's over. I gotta go schedule my booster. Uh, the Christmas flu is gonna be real bad this year. What? Your sled has arrived with all six well, reindeer. Didn't I have seven? All six reindeer. Six reindeer. <laughs> all, all six. I came here with only one ambassador for the Santa Claus, and I found. Don't look in the freezer. Where's Comet? Oh. All six. All six. <laughs> Will we ever see you again? Well, of course. Dear. Like you didn't get cured of the Your Christmas flu until. <laughs> And it's a very Sorry, yeah, he uh he didn't make it. <laughs> Fuck God. <laughs> Boy, it's it means that you're